All right, what's up, guys? Your Borgman2400, giving you guys a deck profile of my dragon plants that I came in third place at my local tournament. There was around six, uh, 15 people there. Uh, I went X1 in Swiss, made top eight, and then lost in top four, coming in third place. Uh, I lost to Fireface in top four. Uh, I just drew extremely bad games one and two, and um, there was nothing I could do about it. I played the best I can, and it happens, you know, as you go. But yeah, when you guys see my tech profile, um, after this video as well, I'm pretty sure you guys see the trade binder. After this video, I'm going to give you guys an explanation of what I cited in and what I cited out. If that's something that you guys are interested in, I'm going to do it anyways. And if I get good enough views, I'll just keep doing that for every time I do a deck profile. So, all right. So, this is the uh, Dragon Plants, like I said. I'm also going to do a deck profile of my Magic deck that I played Friday that I came in second place with. So, stay tuned. So, I played one of these Dragon. Uh, right now, Taito's the worst dragon in this set. He's only good late, late game when I used all these guys up and I used all the babies and I synchroed and stuff like that. He's only good late, late game. Uh, so I use... These are all the dragons I have. Uh, I like two of these more than the two uh, for that guy. Um, I would rather have these just because I want to pop with Blaster. And Blaster's probably the best one in this deck, uh, 2800 attacker. Played the original four plants i was uh debating on titanio and angel of roses i think it's called um those two cards are really good i was debating on which one i want to play i want to play angel of roses i could not get i could not get one i had titanio i played test with titanio and the you know the stupid thing kept happening titanio in my hand so it was like dead until i drew a uh a tempest just to search out for a dragon and or just remove it and stuff like that so it, i prefer angel it's easy to get out even if it's in your hand you could just uh bring back a plant type monster and just better summon it in, which is really good uh for the hand traps i only play two maxis a lot in my locals i've seen a lot of people playing level four decks and not very special summoning like crazy so i decided to just play two maxis because i did see some people play decks that did special summon so uh, for the other things, got two card troopers, three crane cranes, um, black wing sephiros, and thunder king. These two cards were really, really good. I really like the combo with this, with my call of the haunted and stuff like that. And thunder king just thunder king with back rows. Your opponent had to dark hole it because there was no other way to get around there, especially when you have back rows. Uh, for spells, we got Foolish Burial, Ghost Arc, Mind Control, Book of Moon, One for One, Dark Hole, and three MSCs. For trap cards, Morning, Torrential, Bottomless, Mirror Force, and three Call of the Haunted. Oh, and two Seven Tools, sorry. Seven Tools was really, really good. Um, it didn't matter if it was a trap stun. Usually, I end up uh, going off, and if it was a trap stun or a Seven Tools, I will have one no matter what because I was able to stop that one card they were trying to do uh, do against me. So, I didn't care if they warned me. I'd rather have them pay 2,000 life points. I want them to waste life so that way I don't have to put out so many monsters out there to try to finish them off i uh pretty much this deck is all it's all about um setting up like you have to set the grave up you have to put things in the graveyard you have to get dragons um use your card troopers as much as you can get all your dragons inside there use your debris and synchro synchro with these guys if you can and things like that and then later on in the game start using your spore don't ever use your spore at the beginning of the game it's not worth it um, you can spell Summon Spore or Normal Summon into Synchro with a token, but don't use the effect right away. Um, you definitely want to save it for like late, late in the game and stuff like that. Especially when you could try to make a Star Eater and go for game with that. Um, so let's get right to the extra deck. These are the tokens. And let's get right to the extra deck. So we got Formula Synchron, uh, Cataster, Liberian. Black Rose, Stardust, and Spark Dragon, Crimson Blader, Colossal Fighter, Scrap Dragon, Star Eater, Levier, Big Eye, and um, Dragon Sack. I did have two melee trees. My friend Brendan Boyer let me use them. Uh, I had to give it back to him, of course, but that card was really good. Um, I'm debating on which Stardust I want to use, so I want to get rid of one of these to put another Black Rose. And I'm debating on which level 5 I want to use because I want to give one of these to play at level 3. That's a wind type, so it's really good, especially for the um, for Tempest. So I'm debating on which one I want to get rid of because I can't use any of these attributes at all, period. So um, at least the dragons and stuff like that, I could use them because they're dragons. I could use Fire Fist. Uh, I could use Crimson Blade because the 
uh, the fire type. Also, uh, not sure about Crimson Blader anymore, just because not a lot of level fives are out there. But there are Mermails, so I might start playing with it more at a higher event than just a local event. Because if I don't see no Mermails, there's no reason to play this card. But I was lucky enough to play against a kid that was playing Blue Eyes with um, Mythic Dragons. Uh, pretty much Mythic Blue Eyes Dragons rulers. So this card was really, really, really good. Um, Crimson uh, Colossal Fighter. I'm debating on if I want to keep it here or not. Um, you know, I, I I want to drop some cards down just because I, I need to debate on which ones I want to use of these two. Uh, uh, Army Arm, I want to try Army Arm out. But at the same time, man, eh, I'm not sure yet. So let me know what you guys think. And let's go to the side deck. Side deck, I liked it. I think there are some changes I want to make to it. But uh, that'll be in the future. So two uh, fire, fire Ferrets. This will be a change. Uh... Diddy Crow, Maxi, uh, Maxi was fine. I didn't want to main deck three. I don't want it to be too dead. Uh, the ferrets because of Fire Fist and Bougians. Um, I like to do the 500 damage. Again, I want to pull a little bit of damage and then finally at the end just try to do OTK. Um, one Encore, uh, people do play Evil Swords at my locals. So, of course, the deck is part dragons, spell summon big guys, you know, uh, Ophion does stop me from doing that, so that's why these cards are in there. Uh, Lion Prison, people play Bougians, the Bunk, Mermails, and stuff like that. Uh, Dust Tornado was really, really good against the Fire Fist and Bougians and stuff. Um, Divine Wrath was really good. My special tech of the day will be Trap Hole, and they're Spanish. <laughs> um, but yeah, Trap Hole was amazing. I liked it a lot. Um, I cited it in every single time when I was going first. If I if I lost game one, I would cite this all the time going first against um, Bougins, Fire Fist, anything that normal summons. Some kid was playing Heroes. So this card was definitely in, and every single time I flipped it, they were just like, what the hell? But it just stops because this whole format is just normal summon. There's a lot of decks out there that just normal summon and then supposed to summon later on. And I'd rather stop their normal summons early and then try to poke them and stuff like that and get rid of their monsters so definitely liked it um uh, the only card i would take out that i feel is the dd crow for another encore um other than that i'm not too sure yet like i might main deck divine wrath um i might main deck that and then probably switch these two cards out for, uh, you know i have two more slots so take it out for something probably two effect failures or two phoenix chains i did want to play phoenix chains in the main deck my friend who went to the national guard he has my uh my Phoenix Chains. And he was supposed to give them to his girlfriend. His girlfriend was to come down and give them to me. But she knew what she had to work. So she wasn't able to come down. So I couldn't play with Phoenix Chains. Other than that, if I had Phoenix Chains, I wouldn't play with Mirror Force. Um, I would definitely have played with the Phoenix Chains. Uh, probably dropped down Call of the Haunted down to two. Uh, three, I never really seen it all the time. I never seen it. Like, I seen it once in a while. But at three, I just never seen it. I never milled it or anything like that either. Like, so I'm just thinking about just leave it at two. If I don't see it at three, might as well put it at two. I might see it at two then. So it, that's Yu-Gi-Oh for you, right? So all right, you guys. Thanks for watching. This is the Death Profile Dragon Rulers. Um, I'll probably be keep, keep playing this. I am going to the ARG Circuit Charlotte. Just trying to figure out what I want to play. This, Gear Gaia's, Fire Fist. Those are the three decks that I'm debating between right now. Um, the next video, I will show you guys what I slide in and slide out in this in a specific build and hopefully help you guys in the future. Thanks for watching. Peace out.